So you're ready to work. You want to start making a print-on-demand design for either merch by Amazon, Redbubble, Etsy, or any of the print-on-demand platforms. But you're stuck. You have no idea where to start from. You want to work on events a month, two months, three months out, but you don't know what's going to be selling in the next month or two months or three months. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. A step-by-step -step tutorial blueprint that's going to show you how to find the events that are going to be selling well in the next month, two months, or three months, and identify identify the design that you know is going to do well and more importantly make that design with AI in no time we're talking about five minutes or less so buckle up follow with me from start to finish this video is going to be full of valuable information let's get going so let's say you want to know what's going to be selling in the next month or two months or three months and you have no idea here's what you need to do you're going to want to go to merch dominator go to merch archive and we're going to change the date to say for example the 11th of June 2023 so we can see what was selling last year in June and see if we can find an event that repeats every year and more importantly we're going to know exactly what sort of designs we're doing really well and then try to replicate them this year with this year's style with this year's design concepts that sell well and we'll have ourselves a winner it's not that hard it's very very easy so once you've chosen your date click on search and then you'll get literally the best sellers based on that date in particular which is the 11th of June 2020 23. I mean, looking at this BSR, it's absolutely crazy. Sold 17,295 pieces in that month. Insane. Just imagine the amount of royalties. You do the math. As I'm scrolling down, I can see loads of Father's Day designs. I can see Juneteenth designs. Juneteenth are repeating and some 4th of July designs started to sell as well, even in June. Now, based on this info, we know that Juneteenth repeats every year. We know that Father's Day repeats every year. And for 4th of July repeats every year. Now we have to choose an event that we want to work on. I've decided to work on Juneteenth. So next, I'm going to go to best sellers in Merch Dominator. I'm going to type Juneteenth, choose the marketplace. For this one, I'm going to choose the US product t-shirt. Well, we've got all these products to choose from, all the Merch by Amazon products in the US, including KDP. But for this one, we're going to do t-shirt. Sorting, I'm going to do it by BSR for now, and then click on search. I've already searched for it, so no need to do that. As I'm scrolling down I can see that the BSI is looking great as you can see many of these designs the BSI is going down decent BSI right there and I have to start noticing what is selling well what is the common denominator well firstly most of these designs are oriented towards women right and if you want to make sure you can go and do your research in Amazon just type Juneteenth in product search and then click on search and you'll be able to see that the best sellers are for women as you can see loads and loads of different options right here most of them are for women obviously there are some for men and youth but most of them are for women now it got me thinking since this niche appeals most to women why don't i start by making a design for women it makes sense right so looking at this one i kind of like it so maybe i'll make something like this one but with my own style using ai in less than five minutes and to validate the niche i typed juneteenth 1865 yes people are searching for it and then i'm gonna click on search the competition is less than a thousand this is great scrolling down just having a look the bsi is really really good still the bsi is pretty good guys as you can see and i found my design which was uploaded in may 29th of 2023 which is not bad so that's it i'm gonna work on this design if you want to get access to merch dominator to benefit from the powerful features that it has i'll leave you a link down below in the description along with a 50 percent discount for life so now i'm gonna use none other than kittle to recreate create that design with my own style in less than five minutes check this out guys this is what i managed to come up with in literally less than five minutes and if i compare it with the original i think mine is better you let me know what you think down below in the comments so now let me recreate this design in front of you and show you step by step how i was able to do it i'm going to click on new project and i'm going to click on pod presets choose the merch by amazon t-shirt preset and then click on create there we have it we have a brand new artboard now we have to create our graphic literally all you have to do is you have to describe your graphic to kittle ai and it will create it for you you have to be as specific as possible and follow some steps which i'm going to show you just now so you click on kittle ai and you enter your prompt so this was my prompt a beautiful stylish woman in three quarter view wearing a large wide brimmed hat the hat features a red flat crown and a wide sweeping green brim 
separated by a distinct black stripe and act as a sharp contrasting band. The woman has a dark complexion with afro black hair, she's wearing large circular golden earrings, her makeup is elegant featuring bright red lipstick that matches the color of the hat's crown. Pretty detailed. And now you're gonna need to use your image style or clip art style or whatever. I chose this clip art style right here, t-shirts graphic, and then you click here to generate your image. It might not generate the exact same one obviously, but hopefully it will be close enough. This is the image I got. Pretty good as well. Let me put it on a black background. So I'm gonna click on artboard right here. You can double click to actually change the artboard name. So I'm gonna put Juneteenth and even the project name, I'm gonna rename that, perfect. So click on your artboard and then click on background color to change it. I'm gonna change it to black, just like that. And as you can see, there's a white background. One other thing I've noticed is that the hat is not complete, which is not a good thing. So you might have to regenerate this image, but I'm just gonna show you how to remove the background. You click on the image, click on AI background remover, just like that, perfect. But I'm not gonna use this image, like I said, because the hat gets cut off from here. And if you wanna get all the images that you generated previously with Kittle AI, you just go ahead and click on uploads, just like that. And then you click on AI generated and you'll have all of the images that you generated previously. So I'm gonna click on this one right here, which is the one I like and the one I'm gonna use. And then click on AI background remover, just like that. And as you can see, it removed the entire white background and you're left with an image without the background. So I'm gonna make it bigger, just like that. That looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna need to add my text. I'm thinking a script font, but it needs to be a bit bold for Juneteenth and then a sans serif for free-ish since 1865. Let me click on text, click on add headline, just like that. Change the color to white for now. Double click and then type Juneteenth, just like that. Make it bigger, make it wider, just like this. And then bigger again, put it somewhere down here. Now we need to change the font. Let's go to scripts. I'm gonna use this one right here. Make it bigger, that's brilliant. And then I'm gonna center it, click here, perfect. So I'm gonna do the gradient that has all the three colors. I'm gonna click on text color and then see this solid color right here. I'm gonna change it to linear gradient, perfect. Now the first color is gonna be red. I'm gonna pick my eyedropper and I'm gonna select red, just like that. And then I'm gonna click in the middle to create another gradient. And then I'm gonna click on my eyedropper again and it's gonna be gold and then click again. Third color, click on the eyedropper and then it's gonna be green. I'm gonna need to do some modification obviously. I'm gonna need to change this to zero. You have to do it based on the positioning that you want for the gradient. But now I need to change the colors a little bit. I think that looks about right. And now I wanna add some effects. I'm gonna click on this button right here. I'm gonna turn this black. Basically I want it to stand out against this graphic. Make this offset zero and zero and maybe 45 here, something like this. That looks good. And now the other text, click on text again, add headline, make it white. That's it, make it smaller, it looks all right. Obviously we need to change the font, I don't like it. Sans serif, I'm gonna use this one right here. That looks good, but it looks really cramped. That looks okay to me. Center it a little bit, play around with it until you're happy. And that's it, there you have it. You know what, the beauty is, once you generate this graphic, you can literally use any quotes with it. You can put Queen, you can put Juneteenth, 1865. You can use any of these quotes. Celebrate Juneteenth, Juneteenth remembering my ancestors. You can do unapologetically dope, melanin, anything you want, literally from that one graphic. Now to download it, it's pretty simple. Just go click on download, remove background, and then click on download again. And there you have it guys, side by side right there. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And when you upload it to Merch by Amazon, for example, that's what it looks like. It looks pretty good, guys. If you wanna get access to Kittle to be able to create designs like this in no time, I'll leave you a link down below in the description and also a 25% discount. All you have to do is click on the link down below in the description and use the coupon code MRADDYT. And this coupon code is available for all the plans. I personally went for the expert plan purely because it gives me everything that I need. By using this coupon code, you'll be able to get 25% off the first month or the first year. Personally, I'd rather go for the first year because you're getting the best discount possible over the entire year. I'm gonna leave you guys links to all the services and print on demand resources that you need in the description. Whether you need a Merch by Amazon account, my full Merch by Amazon course, the profitable niche service, one-to-one -one coaching, the free ultimate guide to print on demand success, 
10k dollars a month formula pdf or any of the print on demand tools and resources either for free or with heavy discounts you'll find all the links down below in the description i hope you found this video useful watch this video next if you want to learn how to start your print on demand business thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one